Aloha everyone and welcome to the Lani Estates update for June 28th, 2018. Before I get started, I just want to let you know that uh, stick around and watch this entire video because at the end of the video, I've added something uh, a, a little fun for us. Now for the update. USGS reports for Thursday, June 28th, 2018 at 10.57 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. The eruption in the lower East Rift Zone continues with no significant change during the past 24 hours. Fountains from Fissure 8 spatter cone continue to supply lava to the open channel with intermittent small, short-lived overflows. These overflows rarely extend beyond the existing flow field. No active overflows were observed during this morning's helicopter overflight. The spatter cone is now about 55 meters or 180 feet tall at its highest point and fountains only occasionally rise above that point. At the coast, the northern margin of the flow field is still oozing fresh lava at several points in several points in the area of Kapoho beach lots. Lava was entering the sea over a broad area this morning, primarily on the northern side of the entry area. As shown by yesterday's thermal map of the flow field, the lava channel has crusted over about 0.8 kilometers or 0.5 miles inland of the ocean entry. Lava is moving beneath the crust and into still molten interior of earlier flows before it enters the sea. Over on Highway 130, there has been no noted changes in temperature, crack width, or gas emissions. Up on the Kilauea Volcano Summit, at 4.49 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time, after approximately 26 hours of elevated seismicity, a collapse explosion occurred at the summit producing an ash pour steam plume that rose about 1,000 feet above the ground surface before drifting to the southwest. The energy released by the event was equivalent to a magnitude 5.3 earthquake. Seismicity dropped abruptly from a high of 25 to 35 quakes per hour prior to the collapse explosion down to 10 or fewer earthquakes per hour afterwards. Inward slumping of the rims and walls of the Halima'uma'u crater continue in response to ongoing substance at the summit. And finally, the EPA air quality sensor measurements. The air sensor on Kapono Street uh, is still down. It has been down since June 27, 2018 at 1.57 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. That is actually the date and time of the last reading. Um, so I do not have a current reading from that sensor. However, the sensor up at Leilani and 130, uh, reading at 628, excuse me, reading on 628, 2018 at 1118 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time was reading zero parts per million for sulfur dioxide and zero parts per million for hydrogen sulfide. Okay, well that pretty much wraps up the update. There's really not a lot to talk about. It's just uh, more of the same thing we've been having for the last week or so. Uh, eight, number eight, you know, doing its thing you know, running the lava out to the ocean. Um, so I guess no change is good change in this particular case. This has been the Leilani Estates update for June 28, 2018. Okay, now it's time for that something fun that I, I promised earlier in the video. I have a new joke for y'all. Um, I, I have to actually claim credit. I, I created this joke as far as I know. I came up with it and shared it with the, someone and then shared it with a few other people and everybody seems to get a chuckle out of it. So it's, I think it's time that uh, I share it uh, with all of y'all. You ready? Here goes. Why did the chicken cross the active lava flow? Because it was invited to a barbecue on the other side.